Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Chemistry and it's going to look at the reaction of alkenes with water. So where does this sit on the specification? It's a learning aim A2. There are four reactions of alkenes that we need to know. So this is one of four videos looking at the four different um, reactions. We do need some prior knowledge on the idea or recognising symmetric and asymmetric alkenes and also the stability of carbocations to allow us to look at major and minor products. So I will put links for those two videos in the description in case you haven't seen those first. First of all, if you don't subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. Please use the likes and comments features. Let me know what you think. So by the end of this video, then you're going to be able to, or you're going to recall and explain why this reaction actually needs a catalyst. The other three don't, this one does and you'll be able to see the mechanism and also will identify major and minor products um, when the reaction involves an asymmetric alkene. So those are the four reactions then. In this case then, when an alkene will react with water is an alcohol, and we will see this reaction again in commercial reactions. Just a couple of points of prior knowledge then. We need to be aware that the bonding in an alkene is a double bond, it's a sigma and a pi bond. Water is in fact a polar molecule. So if we draw a water molecule, it looks like this. It's got two lone pairs on the oxygen and it's delta plus on each of the hydrogens and a delta minus on the oxygen. It's a polar molecule. Some key facts around this particular reaction then. So alkenes, because of that double bond, it's an area of high electron density. There's four electrons that have been shared between those two carbon atoms. There's two pairs of electrons. And electrons are negatively charged, which means they are attractive to electrophiles. An electrophile is a species that will accept a pair of electrons and is attracted to this area of high electron density. Now, in this specific reaction, water isn't a strong enough electrophile to react with the alkene. So we do actually need a catalyst here. So an, ad, an acid catalyst is needed, as well as high temperature and pressure. When alkenes react, it's the pi bond that breaks and the new groups are added across either side of that double bond. They're called electrophilic addition. And just to make that point one more time, that this reaction with water is one of the commercial reactions that we will look at in some more detail in the future videos. So it's called an addition reaction because we're adding two groups to this alkene. Electrophilic because it involves the attack by an electrophile. Now, as I've said earlier, water as an electrophile isn't strong enough to react with an alkene. So despite the fact that it does have these delta plus hydrogens, it's not strong enough to actually react with the alkene. So in this case, we need an acid catalyst and this H plus is definitely strong enough to react with the alkene. So it's the H plus that initiates this reaction. So let's look at the mechanism then for the reaction of an alkene or a symmetric alkene with water. And I've chosen ethene as my symmetrical alkene. So the first step is the reaction with the H plus, because as I've pointed out, water isn't strong enough. So we do need an acid catalyst. So that's our very first step there. Now, because it's symmetrical, it doesn't matter which hydrogen or which carbon, sorry, whether it's carbon number one or carbon number two, doesn't matter which one this hydrogen bonds to, we'll have the identical carbocation. So I've chosen to add it to carbon one. I could have added it to carbon two and I'd have the same carbocation. Now that carbocation is reactive enough or it's significantly more reactive than the alkene so now it does react with water. And this is where the lone pair on the oxygen now attacks this carbon. And in doing so, the oxygen, one of the OH bonds has to break. And those electrons in the OH bond, I could have chosen any OH bond, go back to the oxygen. So what that does is this hydrogen now is lost as a H plus and OH is now bonded to that carbocation. So this is what our product will look like. So we've got the CH3 like this. 
the carbo cation is now bonded to the oxygen and the oxygen from water was two H's but one of the H's has been lost as a H plus so we've just made ethanol or we've made an alcohol and what's happened is H plus has also been regenerated so it shows how it's a catalyst H plus was used up in step one but it was regenerated at the end so the catalyst hasn't been used up okay so what if the reaction actually involves an asymmetric alkene well the first step is exactly the same it's with the pi bond attacking the H plus and this time though we do have two possible scenarios because if the hydrogen bonds or the H plus bonds to carbon number one like this that would be carbon number one carbon number two is left as a carbocation and in this case it's a secondary carbocation because there are two electron pushing R groups the second option is that the hydrogen is bonded to carbon number two and carbon number one is our carbocation so that would look like this and this time round this is a primary carbocation the secondary carbocation is more stable so that means that our major product would be this one on the left hand side so finishing off the mechanism I like to do my arrows in red let's go back to red there we go and then a reminder that what happens is one of these OH bonds those electrons go to the oxygen and then we end up with our product here this would be our major product on the left and this is going to be propan 2 all so our major product is propan 2 all the minor product then on the right hand side to finish off that mechanism do it again I'm determined to do my arrows in red there we go and that would lead to propan 1 all because the alcohol group is now on the first carbon so a minor product would be propan 1 all so we can see we've got a mixture of products but one will be in the majority propan one all that's our minor product and it's the minor product because it formed via a less stable primary cation and the major product formed via a more stable secondary carbocation key points for this reaction then in order for the alkene to react with water we needed an acid catalyst okay and we must have a high temperature and high pressure and we'll see more of that in the commercial reactions video the mechanism was still the same mechanism for all four it's electrophilic addition and we produce an alcohol and we do get a major and a minor product if the alkene is asymmetric so thanks for watching and good luck